Hi everyone, this is Dan Moeller from Prairie Fire Consulting. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about something today that um, seems to be an ongoing problem um, within work and within our culture. Um, the inability to solve the problem of bridging um, to other people to help people get along. So one of the tools that I wanted to talk to you about is actually called uh, uh, the ladder of inference. I like this tool because it explains some of the dynamics that often help um, explain why people don't get together and work well together, or even like teams are sometimes uh, pitted against each other. So basically what the ladder says is all of us come into situations and we observe um, something or we observe data, almost like um, that uh, in our brains we start to record something. So I come into a new situation. Uh, maybe it's um, I'm going into um, a new workplace um, and I'm starting a new job. Um, when I go into that new workplace, one of the things that we do is as we observe data, we start to select certain data, things that are familiar to us or things that um, make sense to us. Um, as we are doing that, as we're selecting data, we start to add meaning to that uh, data. What that means is, is all of us have um, a cultural background. All of us have um, different lived experiences. And because of that, um, we start to color. And again, we often move toward um, familiarity, what makes a situation more familiar to us. Once I do that, um, I start making assumptions. I start making assumptions about my workplace. I start making assumptions about people. I start making assumptions about um, my interactions. A lot of times this um, two areas um, can get influenced by the people that um, I'm working with. Um, if somebody tells me as I start in a new workplace, hey, uh, George is really hard to work with. George never gets anything done. I start making an assumption about George, if I'm not careful, that colors my interaction, that I start to see George as somebody that doesn't get things done. I can't depend on George. And then if I have any kind of interaction with George that um, reinforces that, um, I'm going to go to the next step and I'm going to start draw conclusions. And as I'm drawing conclusions, um, I start to form um, certain things that um, I start to believe are true um, about the place that I'm working or the interaction I'm having, and this is called beliefs. And what that means is I start to believe something about all this data that I'm um, starting to uh, source. And again, if poor George is the person that is in the middle of this, I start to believe that George is somebody that um, really doesn't make a good productive uh, team member. And that if I'm going to work with George, I'm probably going to have to pick up the slack because I've been told by people um, that that's just the case with George. So what happens then at the end is I start to take actions. And when uh, I say we start to take actions is um, I start to interact with George in such a way that is a reinforcing effect. George is always late, he never gets things done, doesn't follow up, um, and so therefore I, I can't trust George. And then we start to, to isolate George. Now, what I like about the ladder of inference, um, and this actually comes from a, a book called uh, The Fifth Discipline Field Book. Um, what I like about this is that it says that as I interact, it doesn't start to be a neutral territory, which means the next time I interact with George or the next time I inter interact with that team or the next time I interact with that department, um, I am form certain um, ideas that change how I see uh, the data next time. And so next time I don't come in neutral and thinking, well, 
Um, it's just fun to get to know George. I'm getting to know my environments. Now I start to interact with George in such a way that says that those interactions are going to be difficult. What the, the latter shows us is that we all tend to have automatically tend to make evaluative or we, we create uh, certain beliefs and those beliefs might be accurate and they might be inaccurate. But if I'm not careful, I start to, to draw what I would say untested conclusions. And those conclusions then will drive how I interact with people. And therefore, as I draw those conclusions, they will quickly start to reinforce um, the, the, not only the way that I'm going to interact with people, but how I'm going to interpret the data or the information next time. We see this so often with departments. One of the, the classic cases is we often have uh, a struggle between um, a accounting group or finance group um, and sales. And we'll hear things like um, sales never gets their work on time. Sales never gets the paperwork to us. Sales never falls through. And then we'll hear from the sales team. Well, the accounting group is always harping on us, and they're uh, they're always so demanding and so controlling, and um, they don't care about people. Well, neither one of those are true, but because I have done this kind of uh, uh, reinforcing back and forth, back and forth between these two departments, what happens is all those interactions um, can become tainted. So. Uh, how do you break into this? Well, at some point, what you have to break into is this assumptions and meaning line. That there has to be a line where you start to draw and start to help people uh, interpret the white, right way what is going on. Sometimes it's helping people get in their other shoes of like, what is the other person is dealing with? Sometimes it's understanding. Sometimes it's really, I would I say, more problem solving. And what I mean by that is sometimes it takes um, a more sophisticated solution because there's sophisticated problems. Often there is something that is driving these interactions. And if we don't pinpoint and figure out what it is that's driving that interaction, um, then this loop just continues to happen. That's one of the things that we love to do in Prairie Fire Consulting is how do we help you problem solve? How do we get to the root of really what is happening between organizational teams or uh, between individuals? So I hope that helps. Again, that's the ladder of, of inference. Again, um, this comes from a book called The Fifth Discipline of Fieldbook. Um, and I'd love to talk to you more if you're interested in the material. Hey, have a great day. And again, this is Dan Muller from Prairie.